Singer Bruce Springsteen returns with a soul cover album, mm -hmm. and Yellowstone fans rejoice, and the Daltons are back. But power has a prince and a price to pay in the upcoming season. Michelle Medina has those stories in your eye on Entertainment Report. I, John Dutton, do solemnly swear. Kevin Costner's John Dutton is the newly appointed governor of Montana. The new trailer for season five of Yellowstone sets the stage for high drama. There are four new faces heading to the ranch and familiar ones, including the return of Josh Lucas as young John Dutton. Yellowstone returns to Paramount Network on November 13th with a special two hour premiere. The Equalizer returns for its third season. The show picks up following the abduction of Robin McCall, played by Queen Latifah, as friends and family come together to save her. I can't believe that this is happening. Catch all the action on The Equalizer this Sunday on CBS. Suspect was male, 5'8. Big frame. Amanda Warren stars as Regina Haywood, the new boss of the 74th Precinct in the new series East New York. With family ties to the area, she's determined to protect her community. But getting her team on board won't be easy as some resist the changes she desperately wants to make. You can watch the season premiere of East New York, also starring Jimmy Smith's Sunday on CBS. And Bruce Springsteen announced a new album of classic soul and R&B covers. Only the Strong Survive features classics originally recorded by The Temptations, Aretha Franklin, The Supremes, and other legends. The album marks Springsteen's 21st album, only the Strong Survive drops November 11th. That's your eye on entertainment. Nishal Medina, CBS News, Los Angeles. They don't call him the boss for no reason. 21 albums. Amazing. A lot of music. He is amazing. Holy I love cow. Bruce Springsteen. Made in America. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I Okay. I'm so bad at this. I start a show, I get like three episodes in, and then I get distracted by children uh -huh. and so I'm gonna finish up uh, the Hunger Games because yes. I'm committed to it now but I do want to get back to Yellowstone yes because that's I mean that family is like power it's so crazy too because it's Montana which is so close to us yes so it's easier to relate to in yeah. a way, I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? I really love Kevin Costner. Ever since The Bodyguard mm -hmm. with Whitney Houston. He's so good. Etched him into iconic mode. And what I like about him, he's versatile. So you yeah. see him as like a cowboy, but like a very prominent cowboy at mm -hmm. that. So I definitely am going to check it out. But I definitely want to say that I saw The Equalizer and East New York last night after the, Did you really? after the football game. Because it was like right in, in a row. So the equalizer, wow, does Queen Latifah bring it to the house? She's so good. She's multi-talented. Yes. Like, love her. Yeah. She was oh. fighting crime all episode, and then <laughs> at the end, she gives you a big surprise. I'm not going to spoil it because it's, it's streaming on those services for you to, oh. to get a catch up on. But that, and then East New York, wow. Is it good? Riveting. Hmm. It's, it's kind of like Blue Bloods meets NCIS meets Law & Order. Oh, so that's right up my alley. Yeah, it's really good. So guys, check out those entertainment mm. shows because those are amazing. I love that. I've been digging into, I just get nostalgic. Yeah. I've been digging into Warehouse 13. That's the nerd in me that just, I'm not even a sci-fi person, but for some reason, Eureka and Warehouse 13. Right. I love that. But, but stay tuned. More North Dakota today <laughs> after the break. Love that.